What's good sports gamers and with another year comes another year of Madden and another year of our top 10 sleeper series where we help you find the diamonds in the rough that aren't as coveted by others that you will be able to develop and ball out with. And today we start with the quarterbacks. Alright let's get it. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 list is Chad Kelly. Wasn't this guy in the Heisman Trophy runner last year? How did he last to the 7th round? He's definitely attainable from Broncos users unless you run into the one who just so happens to be an Ole Miss fan. He'll come with 80 speed, 91 arm strength, and 80 throw on the run. He'll take a lot of work to build up, but if you want to go super cheap and out there, for a sub-70 rated QB, he's one of the best you'll find. And at number 9 is Brett Hundley. He's the fastest quarterback on the list at an 85, and because of his ratings, he's best utilizing the read option heavy offense or if you throw a lot of short passes, or both, because he has the highest short throw accuracy on the list at an 87. But his mid and deep throw accuracy bombs, so he already has a defined set of skills that if you stick to, he won't play like a 69 overall. But considering he's fast and has 90 throw power, the potential to turn him to something more is there. Coming in at number 8 is Trevor Simeon. The former 7th rounder who somehow is still the starting QB in Denver, despite being a placeholder, everybody knows it, is actually pretty solid in Madden and is young enough for you to build up into a decent starter. He doesn't have the best throw power at an 88, but he makes up for it with above average accuracy ratings, especially deep where he sports at 78. So like I said, if you need a quarterback to play with for a season or two until you find something better that will come cheap, he's a great option, especially with Bronco users likely favoring Lynch. And at number 7 is my favorite, Cody Kessler. I actually got Kessler in free agency in one of my leagues last bad. Now that should tell you people sleep on him. He's a slightly faster Simeon while trading deep throw accuracy for being better in the short game. And having a log jam at the quarterback position on the Browns, he won't be hard to get. That is if whoever owns him doesn't cut him first. And at number 6 is Jacoby Brissett. A repeat from last year, Brissett isn't a rookie anymore so I had to drop him a bit. But Brissett still has 94 arm power and is pretty fast with a pretty low overall. But getting him may be tricky, one pass user might give him to you for the low. Another might trade Brady and start him ASAP because he has the arm Garoppolo doesn't. It's a case by case basis, which makes sense when you compare him and Cooks up for many years of deep ball goodness in your leagues. And at number 5 on our top 10 list is Davis Webb. The heir apparent to Eli? Maybe? Probably, we'll see. He has the sweet combo of 79 speed and 93 arm power, but you're going to have to build up his accuracy for him to be a good QB moving forward. But having Odell, Beckham, Shepard, and Ingram around for the long haul will help in his development. And at number 4 is CJ Beathard. Another guy you could snatch up and get that extra rookie of the year XP with is CJ Beathard. I was looking at the rosters and dude's numbers are low key nice, 78 speed and 81 excel, 91 arm power, but of course with guys like him when it looks too good to be true, it usually is. His accuracy ratings are around average so if you're able to get over the occasional ball thrown into the stands, he's a nice build up target, especially if you can win an award with him. And number 3 is Nathan Peterman. Ok I called him Peterson like 3 times before this so there's that. Nathan Peterman might end up being the starter in Buffalo in real life soon the way people talk about Tyrod, so he might as well make it a reality in Madden. While Taylor obviously has him in speed, Peterman is no slouch himself with 78 speed and 86 acceleration. He'll have 91 throw power and average accuracy ratings across the board, making him a nice rookie QB to build up. Acquiring him from Bills owners may be fairly easy because while Tyrod might not be long for Buffalo, he's a good fairly young fast QB in Madden still, so Peterman will come cheap. And at number 2 is Joshua Dobbs. Dobbs is perfectly suited for the read option Cam Newton type of offense because quite frankly he has the running numbers of a bat. Well actually before you go out there trying to run crazy he has 56 carries so build that up ASAP before you do. I mean look Dobbs has 77 trucks, 77 elusiveness, 77 spin and 86 juke move. I mean really? That combo of numbers only Cam and Russell Wilson can top. Then to round it out, he has pretty good arm at 91 throw power and his accuracy rates are just about average, so he has solid starting QB numbers to build up. But with his running ability, it brings a uniqueness to him that not many QBs have. For my Steelers future owners out there, once Big Ben retires on you, Dobbs isn't a bad option at all. 
and Sports Gamers Online number one sleeper quarterback is Deshaun Kaiser. Well, I mean, on the bright side, if you're a Browns user, you have two quarterbacks you could build up with the best being the former fight Irish Kaiser. He's an above average athlete with 78 speed and 83 acceleration. To go along with his 83 throw on the run, so you can definitely put him on the move. Then to top it off, he has 95 arm power, which is great for any quarterback. His accuracy rate short isn't great, but he has one of the better deep throw accuracy rates in the game at a 76. So with him being 21, his potential is through the roof. So it makes sense why Deshaun Kaiser sits the top sports gamers online, top 10 sleeper quarterbacks for Madden 18. Sorry sports gamers, do you agree with the list? And if not, who is a QB you got your eyes on? Or y'all play well with so far? Leave it in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more Madden 18 content here at Sports Gamers Online. So subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all.